Hello, Wolfmind here, and you might be thinking, oh, a new cruise ship already? No, this is actually a ferry, and it is a real-life ferry called the Corsica Victoria, owned by Corsica Lines, which I believe they're called Corsica Lines, and all I know is the first part is called Corsica. That's all you need need to know. But yeah, this is a medium-sized uh, cruise ferry. Uh, I know cruise ferries can get way bigger than this, but... Uh, this is my first ferry of this magnitude. You probably remember the Sydney Ferry Pack. If you don't know that pack, you can uh, check it out. If you're watching from Planet Minecraft, uh, look on my profile. It's on there. And if you're watching on the channel, it's just a few v videos back before this. So yeah, this is going to be a little tour breakdown of it. And uh, basically what this ferry does is it holds cars in the yellow area below. And... Above that, it's all like a cruise ship, pretty much. You got your entertainment decks right there in the middle, and then you got your rooms all around that. So yeah, as you can see, this is the big door for the... Uh, when it comes into a port, it opens, and that's how cars get inside. And all fun stuff. So we're going to head on in on deck two. Or no, deck three. The decks are all weird on this ship, because deck two... Well, there's actually a deck one, but I did not put deck one in. And as I said before, this is a real-life ferry on the outside. Now, on the inside, I did not want to do the exact interior, so that's kind of like a half-and-half -half thing. So, basically what I did is I did my own custom interior, which fit in with the ship pretty well, if I do say so myself. So, we are in the lobby right now, and these would be doors for getting on and off the ship. And, and I'm probably lagging a little bit, at least I am right now, because I'm recording in a better quality uh, se uh, yeah, 720p right now. And hopefully this works out fine. If it, if it doesn't, I'm re-recording. But yeah, enough about that. But these are all rooms. I'm going to show you one of the rooms. They're very tiny, and I know you're all yelling at me for a too high ceiling, but that's the only way it could work in a 1-1 one -one scale. So yeah, the, these are what the rooms basically look like. I'm not going to go all in detail, and yes, I know the beds. Like before I said, I can't world edit beds, so I have to do it that way. No biggie. Alright, so we're going to head downstairs before going to look at the rest of the ship. And uh, for its size, there is a lot going on in it. So I did not put cars in this deck. You can just use your imagination, but I am going to be using this ship for a future OIO project that I'm going to be working on which is a new harbor basically and I do need to record another preview of OIO if you don't if you do not know what OIO is Operation Infinite Ocean you can uh, now there'll be a link in the description of this video of course and you can also check out some of my other videos that I've done and also give you just a basic idea of what it is and it's basically just a shipbuilding server to sum it up but yeah this is deck 2 simple car deck you would have lots of cars in here and then we're going to head up to deck 3, which is called the Diamond... Oh, no. <laughs> like I said, the decks are all weird on here, so I'm getting kind of messed up. So deck 4 is the Diamond deck. And this is basically the entertainment deck of the ship. So this way we have the bar, which overlooks the bow of the ship. And, yeah, pretty nice bar. For being a too high ferry boat. I try to put as much detail as possible on the interior. I, was, I wasn't even planning on doing an interior for this, and then I just thought about it. I'm like, yeah, I could do an interior and then just put it up as a project, because if I did it as an empty shell, you guys would be complaining. At least some of you. I know a few of you would be complaining, like, why didn't you do the interior? So I did it anyway, and it wasn't really, didn't really take that long at all to pull this all together. Just did a basic one. Right here is a shop. And then next to this, we have a whole bunch of benches overlooking the water. A beautiful sight. So here's the lobby again from the uh, above area. And right here is the dining hall. Now, this is actually in the right spot on the real ship. Which is because I thought it was a good place for the dining hall anyway. It was a big gap we had between the elevators and stairwells. So it fit in pretty well. And right here is a little... Um, side restaurant or little beverage area and got little seats right here just added all kinds of fun stuff through it 
So yes, um, back this way. We still have to go back this way. This is the back of the, back of the ship, and this is where the pool is. And it's a really tiny pool. It's more like a hot tub than anything. And we got a little uh, Italian-ish restaurant there with furnaces that were messed up. Then we got tables all around for eating purposes. And this way is a crew member area only, or just like a crew area. And this is your aft docking area for uh, docking the ship. I know most of my cruise ships have these, and it's basically the same concept. It's just more open air. And this ship is from the 1980s area, I believe. That's as much as I know. And it looks more like an older ship than that. But it is a pretty good-looking ship, if even in real life. So I'm going to head up to, yeah, the next deck. So we have a little bar right here. And yeah, the furnaces are all messed up still. I'm doing a pretty good job on dragging my feet. At least not dragging my feet, just talking so much during these. Because these are very long. I'm trying to get them fast like I used to do. Because if you remember, I used to do very fast. Like bam, bam, bam. There they all are. So yeah, this is the lifeboat area. And... Oh, there's all kinds of, they're mostly rowboat lifeboats, and then there's only one tender right here, and then you got more rowboats up here. And eventually it leads up to the bridge, which is what we're looking at next. And I actually added navigation lights. I know the Renata had them too, that's because King decided to put, in, uh, put them in, and I never thought about it. And I thought about it on this one, and it looked pretty well. Alright, so this has to be one of my most favorite bridges of my ships just because of what you can do. Now you only have the area in here and then you have the side areas for docking and it's also turning nighttime. We have the side areas for docking and then my favorite part is this where you can come out in front of it. And I know cruise ships have this as, as well but the problem is they're so small that you can't even make it. But on this one it had a big open area because of this big because the bar is right below us and it had this big area when they decided to put a railing. And there's a nice view of the bow. So we're going to head on back in. Hopefully, yeah, I'm on brightness. Make sure, because I was on moody brightness for taking the pictures that you will see in this project. Alright, so we're going to head backwards now. Right here is a little, these are just little areas for add-on stuff. There's like a little computer in there. Just for the sake of adding detail. So these are the suite rooms, the ones upstairs. Well, these are actually normal rooms, but... The, the reason is that the hallway and the width of the actual part of this ship was so small I had to make elongated rooms, which worked out pretty well compared to those, because in real life, they're actually straight, not elongated like this. But, like I said, I did my own custom interior just because I didn't really like the regular interior. And if you didn't know, this is the Sapphire Deck, Deck 5. And these are all rooms up here as well. I don't even know why I'm going this way. So on to the next deck above, and this is the Emerald Deck. And this way we have the Emerald Bar, which doesn't really have any name signs, but that's what I pretty much called it, because it was the Emerald Deck. Why not an Emerald Bar? And uh, pretty nice, just general bar. Very nice overlooking-ish area, <laughs> somewhat. Got all the lifeboats peeking through, though. Some of these rooms have very good views, like this one. A view of the lifeboat, yeah. So these rooms are basically the same. They're a little bigger, like one side's bigger than the other, just like downstairs, because this is an even-width hallway, and the ship is an odd-width. So if you think about it, I had to... Because if I did the regular hallways, like a three-wide hallway in this, but it looks more like a very elongated galley than an actual hallway, so I had to shrink it, which uh, worked to my benefit. All right, so this is the back of the ship again, and we have the smokestack right here. Which took me a few tries to make, but I pulled it off. And then right here is uh, supposed to be the face. They have a little logo of a guy with a face. And then he has like a bandana, then black hair. I pretty much just tried to capture that in the logo. Alright, so this is the top deck. And the more rooms, basically the same exact rooms as the deck below. Don't, I don't need to go into detail with them. Of course, you can always download, which will be in the description. And uh, check it all out yourself. And it's all sitting like it is right now. 
fact, I'm walk I haven't even download or made the save of the map yet. Oh yeah, so this is the topmost overlook on the front part, and you have the antenna back this way. I'm not sure what the actual term for these are, but it's the antenna. And uh, you got like a little radar right here. These are horns on each side with the trapdoors. And then up here you have your red light. Redstone torch always used as a red light. And then you got another um, navigation satellite ball. There's always a satellite or radar in those little ball shaped things if you did not know that. And then we have the smokestack. A simple looking one. I don't know why. Most of the older ships have this kind of a uh, overhanging lip. That's what I've noticed. And was, I'm like, it's pretty cool, but it's also different at the same time. Like, they don't use that in any new ship. But in a lot of the ships from this age, that when this one was made, they have that. Yeah, alright. So that pretty much wraps up the tour. I probably did this pretty quickly compared to the Legacy tour. Jesus, that thing took so long. But yeah, uh, like I said before, the download's always in the description. I'd like to thank you for watching. My name is Chris, also known as Wolfmind, and goodbye.